Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing some more Fiddlesticks mid um, versus a Kiana. Thankfully, she only has a Drain Interrupt on her ultimate ability. If you guys don't know Fiddlesticks, lane Fiddlesticks is not too bad when you get to go versus something that can't interrupt your Drain very easily, because if you fully finish your Drain... Huh. Isn't he okay? So she's just gonna miss a bunch of farm. Wow, that's nice, dude. I mean, honestly, good job, mommy's toes. Um, not bad for me. So yeah, uh, if she steps up for minions, we just pop our drain, get good damage off. I guess normally I started E, but because we're versus a melee character, that really sucks early game. I just don't want to have that. That being said, uh, one thing that does suck is that they have a new new. So, because they have a Nunu, um, that obviously means I'm pretty damn vulnerable to being ganked. <clears throat> because Nunu ganks are basically uncounterable, I believe, for a Fiddlesticks. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just pop dra barrier and just continue draining, hoping that I can just out sustain the damage, and it actually worked. <laughs> I out sustained it. <clears throat> Fiddlesticks gets a uh, massively increased healing uh, if his drain isn't interrupted by the end of it, because he does this bonus damage at the very end that deals uh, more based off of how low the opponent is. So because there was two of them, I just suddenly boosted my healing a significant margin oh wait i did realize one thing nunu snowball probably doesn't like my effigies i wonder if i can interrupt nunu snowball by holding an effigy if you don't know these effigies these wards are technically things that could get hit by skill shots so does that mean i could honestly hold on to it and if nunu ganks me i just <laughs> do that You can hit me all you want. Wait, you're actually stepping back up? I wouldn't do that if I was you. Yeah, just go for the minions. You're probably not going to be able to fight me. I'm too strong. If I flash drain her, does she die? No. That's embarrassing. Whatever. So damn bad. Wait, I killed her. Yo, I got her. <laughs> I got her with my E. The comet got her. <laughs> the comet got her. Okay, nice. Now, you guys might be wondering, okay, so you're playing Fiddlesticks again, and I'm guessing you're playing it because, what, the Blackfire Torch is out? So you're obviously going to be playing that, right? No, I'm not. Uh, Blackfire... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not building that. Um, Blackfire Torch is honestly pretty bad on most champions as a first item. It's not bad as a second item, it seems, from what I've seen win rate-wise. But as a first item, Malignance is basically the only thing you could possibly go that always looks good as Fiddlesticks. You should always be going for it. It's just way better. Um, I mean, they even nerfed the hell out of the torch, so that's what we're going to be going for. Just draining to get <clears throat> the stuff. I'll just uh, drop this down here. Is Kiana going for my uh, Garen? Clearing some vision. Yeah, I'm not six yet. But I'll I'll walk towards her if uh, you want to do something that way. I mean that's all I got. I, I did finish the drain as well. I don't know what this guy's doing. He can't do anything to me. I finished the drain, so I got the bonus damage at the end. I just don't deal enough with only drain. Now the next. Oh my God, she's staying. She does have stealth, and that completely counters Garen, so... <laughs> it will be cool if you kill her. That'd be sick. I don't know if you can.
I mean, I'm I'm not even gonna use my fear. I don't really care. <laughs> you don't really uh threaten me. Just go back to the sucking. Suck in the wave. Maybe I could buy boots plus a um, mana crystal, just so I have a little bit less of mana issues. And then uh, the boots will obviously be pretty nice, so I could have a bit more mobility if I do want to be uh, roaming. Whenever I have my ultimate up, it's either do I want to use it mid on Kiana... The thing is that she's super mobile, though, so it's not the easiest to catch her because she can just run or just go bot and, you know, try to dive them. Nice, I got the cannon. Honestly, I did not know if I would get that. Let's try to E the back wave. This might make it so it gets one shot. Oh, you can't. Probably don't one shot you. They're kind of healthy bot too, man. Am I dead? I fear her? She's not ulting to interrupt my thing. Wow, well, she didn't ulti me. I don't know why she didn't ulti me, but that basically prevented my death. <laughs> she totally could have done it when I was draining to prevent the healing. I'm going to immediately go to red buff here. If you didn't know, you get decreased healing on the uh, minions. So draining monsters is better. Although it's only one monster, so it barely heals me. And she does have her ult. Am I okay? Oh my god, don't one-shot me. Yeah, I'm just dead. I can't even press my Q. It's too fast. If I buffered my Q rather than my E, maybe I had her. I needed wolves to drain. Because the more uh, things you hit, the more health you get back. That would have healed me for a lot. Or Raptors. My team's still defending it. The hardest part for Fiddlesticks is the early game. I've already passed that. So thankfully, uh, deaths going onwards aren't going to be too big of a deal. Because I'm Fiddle. I press my R key. If it hits three people, we basically automatically win the, the fight. Continue the dream. Looks like that guy's maybe gonna die top. <clears throat> this time I don't think he's gonna be as fortunate to leave. Wow, he actually is. Never mind. No, never mind. This snowball's gonna get him. Let me just get the plate. Is it gonna get him? Is he okay? I can't kill him. All I can do is poke <coughs> like that. No way, you died at Draven Hold. <laughs> nice suck there. Got a huge one off. She did use her flash last time, so. I should be able to just kill her this time <clears throat> pretty easily. Land the fear, she's just gone. Could maybe also get another plate for myself. Nunu was topside, but if he does gank me, I can just drain. I don't even need to use my fear, I can just save it. You'll never kill me because I can just always uh, fear his ult. This feels like a pretty good matchup. Is Nunu going to regank? Ooh, she has anti-heal. Big drain here. Nice. Oh, 
he has flash. If he doesn't have flash there, I kill him with drain. Nice counter gank by that guy, the uh, Hecarim, really popping off. And she used her TP. That that feels awful. TPing straight into your death. Almost level 11 as well. Level 11 spike is gigantic. Your damage increases significantly. Just wait. We'll look at this just to show you. It says 1003, but of course I haven't bought yet. So let's look at after I buy. We can go the Blackfire Torch now. I'm down. All right, it does 1090. So remember that 1090 and get ready for the level 11 spike. <clears throat> okay, well, farming these is kind of difficult, isn't it? My effigies <laughs> now also sweep, by the way. They don't do it until I think like level seven or level eight or nine something in the higher level so now it it does uh the sweeping so we can check brushes for wards so we can hide one auto should do it the one auto attack procs the Braum passive completely. It it does bonus damage besides just a stun, so free kill. Not sure where she was going. Maybe she thought that I was... Like, okay, yeah, this is like another instance of like, what the hell? She just walked into her death. Is she stupid? No. Nah. I mean, the thing is that probably happened is she saw me last going bot lane, right? And when I went bot lane, she's going to assume I'm probably going to like try to dive them or look for a play. So she's, she has to make the decision, do I want to try to defend my bot lane from getting dove by this Fiddlesticks or just leave them alone? And you have to make the decision, is Fiddlesticks camping and going to kill me or is he uh, like legitimately going down? Because if she does, if I did go bot lane, let's pretend I, I go all the way there. Also, we can look now deal 1600. So like over 550 more damage. <clears throat> is this warded? They seem kind of far away. Anyways, if I did rotate all the way down, there's a chance I go in and then she's right behind me and completely counters my gank. And that would, you know, be really bad for me. So that's why she face checked. She was like, you know what? I want to make sure that my bot lane doesn't die. But unfortunately, that was the wrong decision. Maybe I should just be ulting her, honestly. I wonder if I can just one-tap her. Not even close. Oh my god, yes. We, we should be playing a bit more aggressive. This, this is for any champion, by the way. Sometimes you should honestly take a risk. That was a risk for me because I don't understand Fiddle 6 damage like the back of my hand. One of the hardest things about League of Legends is uh, knowing mistakes where uh, the mistake is something that you can't know if you're doing something wrong. If I did an ultimate, I'm full HP, I have pressure, I'm pushing out my wave, but... Um, like, she is... Wait, am I gonna kill this guy? I can't. Oh, somebody help me. I can't kill this guy. I have my ultimate back up pretty soon. That's funny. I'm alive, bro! Oh my god! The barrier is doing so much. <laughs> oh my god, man. Jeez. Alright, my train of thought, right? I'm saying that, like, how would you know that 
you're making the mistake of not killing the Kiana without attempting the attempt in the first place, right? If I don't kill her mid with that play, I will never know that I missed an opportunity, possibly. So, like, the mistake is, like, how are you supposed to learn that? You just have to, unfortunately, put yourself in a position where you, uh, do those types of plays and learn from it, even if it's a mistake. If I went in and I died because of it, you could be like, okay, well, now you know in the future your damage isn't that crazy and you can't do something like that. But that's not the case. We learned and we're like, okay, our damage at level 11 versus somebody when we're really fed, just pop ultimate. Doesn't matter if you get off like the perfect combo, just press it. You should probably kill them instantly. So That being said, I think I did it before she had Merc Threads. I think she has Merc Threads now. But I have a higher level fear, and I have more items, though. So. Draven went first item, Bloodthirster. Bloodthirster doesn't give crit. <sighs> so. I can't kill her. I can't get her. Yo, Garen, look behind you. <laughs> Garen. Dude, this guy only split pushes. <laughs> Dude? <laughs> uh, next item, probably. I like Shadow Flame. Shadow. Wow, dude, look at my ultimate seed. I just used this. This is also another reason why Malignance is just incredible. I don't even have full uh, ultimate hunter stacks. Don't even have full ultimate hunter stacks. That's crazy. Checking the brushes, using this plant. Oh, he's on it. Uh, he's gonna live. I did the perfect combo too, which is uh, if you didn't, I'll, I'll explain this. I did inside the other videos. Um, fiddlesticks, every single ability is a fear if you can hit them outside of vision. So when I use my ultimate, it fears him. So what does your Q do? If you use your Q when somebody is feared, it doesn't re fear them. What it does is that it does double damage. So I did double damage to him, and then you silence. And the silence is what gets them. That was a really good ult. I was hoping she would ult me against this wall, by the way. I was like, she'll ulti me here. She won't kill me. My teammates will probably kill her, and then I'll just run out. But she ulti me backwards, and I didn't really think of that. I didn't think that she had the angle, but she did. <clears throat> Anyways, the most important thing after landing fear is the center of your E, because it's a silence. So that's it. Land the center of your E. Because the silence is the only other thing besides the fear you can get off. So, ulti in, Q for damage, if your ultimate hit them. If your ultimate hits them, it fears them, right? Then E, W, and that's it. Very simple. <coughs> Q does double current HP, so you always want to use that first. Always. Don't use it as a finisher. It's current HP. If somebody has 100 HP, it does have a minimum damage, it looks like, but, like, let's pretend it didn't. It, it would deal 30 damage. But if somebody has 10,000 HP, it deals 3,000 damage. Higher HP they are, the more it does. Man, you just never die. Very frustrating, bro. But neither do I. <laughs> neither do I. <laughs> That's funny. Can we do this? How much do I heal for? Nothing! I heal for nothing! Leave me alone! Oh my god. We can probably do this, though. <clears throat> Wow, ow, jeez, dude. I'm, I'm 
I'm gonna die, dude. Yeah, Fiddle Six is known for his healing, by the way. Yeah, right. This is this is pathetic. Healing for nothing. I can't believe I can't one-shot Nunu, dude. That's kind of insane. Sure, I almost kill him, but I, I just really feel like he should be dying. Maybe if I had my full Shadow Flame, but come on, man. I have I have two completed items. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to save my... Oh, actually, I can use my Fear for the damage. I was going to say I was going to save my Fear for the Jax, because he was mid, and I thought he would maybe go top, because look at this. But he's not, so... That did not kill. Okay. Uh, mm, let's go around this way. This is probably the best position to be in for a for an ult. Okay, maybe now we go bot side. I mean, the game's just kind of doomed. They are too far behind. GG. Please kill it. I don't want to die. Mid jungle want to lose. Dude, I got ganked so many times, and I counter ganked them, like, every single time. I thought it was going to go much worse. So, yeah, that was Fiddlesticks. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the commentary on uh, me doing some sucking in the mid lane. Pretty fun pick, especially against melees. I recommend not playing uh, Fiddlesticks into, like, Syndra, Orianna, LeBlanc, that type of thing. That, that stuff is really annoying to go against, so... Did the most damage in the game, surprisingly. At the very end, I feel like I wasn't really doing that much, but definitely uh, performed pretty well. So thanks for watching. I'm trying to get a game two of this going if you guys want to see another game of it. So stay tuned if you want to see another one. Also, before we head into next game, I just want to showcase that this person is pretty damn good at Kiana. So that's a person that we faced and obviously had a pretty easy time against. So this is who they are. I have no idea how Mastery works anymore. Mastery 49, I think, is pretty high. So she is pretty proficient and a main of Kiana, and that's that's who we face, Master Tier last season. All right, see you guys. Hey guys, welcome to uh, game two of the fiddle. I'm playing versus a Nasus with Ignite TP Comet. <clears throat> Firstly, walk outside of that because that's going to deal a lot of damage to me. Get a little bit of healing from the minions. Auto attack him once. Use this again. Heal again. He, oh, wow, I actually pushed pretty fast to the point that like he's going to miss these minions if he doesn't, yeah, just use his E like that. I'm okay with standing in this, actually. Because I'm just auto attacking him. Look how low this guy is already. I'm completely crushing him. Like, he is super disrespecting that I have more than just drain. <laughs> I I can just use my other ability. <clears throat> or my, my auto attack. It's not an ability, I guess. Use my autos. One of the smallest things that, like, if, if you're, like, bronze or something, if you just learn to auto attack weave... If people don't hit you back, if it's like range versus range, you can normally win like any matchup that you're not supposed to win. I feel like a lot of people uh, <coughs> focus so much on the uh, spells only to the point that... Uh, they don't realize that you can win through other means. And this is inside a master tier, by the way. Like, imagine how much easier it would be if this, if this guy was like bronze. He'd probably have died by now, honestly. He's CSing quite well. Really. So, Hecarim, if he ganks me, does have one crowd control. Remember that it's all about not getting CC'd. 
So that's the only thing we have to wait. If he comes in, I'm going to let him hit me with his E. I'm kind of running out of mana, huh? Maybe I should just push him base. I mean, he's kind of out of mana too, though. I can't. <clears throat> Even if I fear that guy, <laughs> uh, this Graves is too far away. He's never going to catch back up. This guy also can't push very well because he's really out of mana. So technically, this should be a 2v2 if Garen rotates. This guy is so not killable. But they will get big damage off, I swear. If, if this guy dies, I will be so surprised. Yeah. It's good, though. You got his ghost. That's, that's an objective, basically. Ooh, I got withered? That honestly kind of hurt. <laughs> wow, and your damage is kind of spiking. It's the same gear in his last game, but he's on the opposing team. <laughs> it's the same guy, the mommy's toast. I mean, we got a decent chunk on him. I don't know. He's, he's kind of playing so respectfully. I'm just going to fear so I can drain, hoping that I can get the full duration off. I can't. I really can't. I can't get the full duration off there, seriously. Even with the fear. He's not going to have many mana issues anymore because he went for a... Uh... That guy's dead. Silenced him. Fearing. Auto attacking. Draining. Silencing so I can drain again without her interrupting me. She probably has bubble. Oh, I'm not going to do this. If she has vision, uh, I'll never get the full drain off. I was hoping that she was going to face check me. But she, she backed away. <clears throat> I wonder if I should just ulti the next wave just to push it out. I'm so oom. Um. I have three out of five ultimate hunter stacks. Oh no, I'll probably die. I was going to do it before this guy reached six. <laughs> now that he's six, I, prob <laughs> I probably can't do anything. <sighs> because, uh... His level six is very powerful. Making his Q cooldown half the duration, or half the CD, I mean. I don't really think that we can kill this guy, man. I know that you think that I do a lot. I have a mana crystal. And he had Nami nearer. I don't know. I don't think it would have worked. I'm just going to fear this guy so he doesn't get it. Oh, God. Am I okay? Oh, wait. Maybe I can go in. Okay. We'll take it. The thing is that the difference is I have a Graves. <laughs> so, Graves damage is quite high. Did my fear not go off? No, it did. Oh, she flashed and healed. I can probably just silence here. Definitely take that. <laughs> nice job, guys. Let's see level 7. Look at that. So level 7 is when you get it. See how I just gave it to him? So uh, when you get the sweeper part of your uh, thing. So. <laughs> he went Oblivion Orb. <laughs> so this guy is AP Nasus. Interesting. 
Seems that Fiddlesticks kind of destroys AP Nasus a little bit. Because your poke is kind of meaningless, because I can just heal through most of it. Okay, I... alright. Stop reducing my healing! Okay, when I'm draining him, I heal for so much more. The big drains coming through. He is honestly so low already, just from like a single drain. It's crazy. Raining. I'm just gonna flash. I'm gonna say barrier. I think if I barrier there, I still am withered and I won't live. If Hecarim ganks me, he ganks me. I don't know. I'm seeing if I can honestly continue fighting. It'd be kind of funny if I got ganked and I just outplay him. But let me showcase something else. This is where the big healing comes in. If you ever need to heal and your teammates' raptors are up, that. <laughs> I'm glad I got to show you guys. If you do want to play Fiddlesticks mid, you need to know that. <clears throat> it's like I, I based in a way. I'm just going to back off because I don't have ult. And I also have a big buy here, so why not just leave? Looks like he kind of wants to stop me, though. Why Why do you want to do that so badly? I don't understand. Like, there must be reasoning for doing that, right? The reason is because I'm getting ganked? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to sweep that. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you have mercs now? Yeah, he does. The merc treads are really going to reduce the... Oh. I think I'm okay. I can just leave. Yo, that guy also had to ulti out. <laughs> <coughs> nice. Wh what do you want me to do? I literally was trying to not get interrupted by Hecarim. Also, that, that guy's worth, like, no money. But I'll ulti him anyways, I guess. I don't know. I have uh, my teammate here, so I'll just get the wave, and then now we can kill him together. This guy's worth, like, no money. <laughs> Who wants to take this? It's a free kill. Huh? Wow, he went up? It's the only way that he could have went. Yeah, he's just gone, honestly. Oh, he, he still died. But he... Yeah, he's worth like 100 gold, so enjoy 100 gold thresh. Enjoy. The spoils. <clears throat> Back mid. Almost level 11. Yeah, I don't know if I can get to this guy. Yeah, he's gonna go over the wall. Fearing? Draining? No way. He's gonna live. Well, I did I did the combo perfectly. Couldn't do anything more. Are you gonna take my wave? Are you just trying to? You're just trying to shove. That's fine. Can't help you with that. K 
Can we kill Lucian Nami? I don't know. Do the dragon as well? <clears throat> mm. Lucian Nami are gone. They're not here. Interesting. Can't out dream this. Damn, it's just like last game, man. The Garen goes like zero three, but then he just starts crushing everybody. Also, Seraphine damage is uh, kind of low. Oh, nice, good hook though. I also gave this Hecarim a gigantic amount of gold. I guess my ultimate was awful because I didn't get to hit Hecarim. I guess he saw me. I also wasn't level 11, so my ultimate damage was kind of mediocre. I think that I don't go Blackfire Torch this game. They have much tankier team comp with the top side of these three. This is definitely a Lyandry's angle to make it so uh, they all get shredded a bit easier. I know that the Nasus is, is going AP and stuff, but his ultimate does give him HP. So, And armor magic is this too. I probably can't fight these guys 1v2. Unless I get like a ulti off from Fog of War. I don't think I could beat them um, just like front, just running at, at them. <clears throat> it's not going to work. Level 11 though, that's a huge one. That's a big level for us. This guy might have clones. Nami's mid. Interesting. Okay. This draining. Ward. Ah, right, you are still here, huh, Lucian? Where is Hecarim? If Hecarim's... Okay, so this is like another thing... You see how Jax warded everything topside? If Hegram's not topside, where is the only other place that he could technically be? The area that I'm in. So, that's just a thought. I'm not saying that he's here and that I shouldn't be doing it, but just remember that there's a possibility he might uh, come get me, so. <clears throat> he has two <laughs> fully completed items. Wow. Yikes. Fed Hecarim is really scary. Even though I think he even got nerfed a bunch, but he's still a pretty good champ because he just helicopters on everybody. Thankfully, this AP Nasus is pretty worthless. I don't even want to, like, kill him. I'd rather just, like, fight for my team. I don't know. Ultimate CD is kind of short. Maybe maybe we can just poke the Nasus. Is he still here? I was hoping he would step up for the next one. Oh. Dang it, man. I was waiting for you, and now you, you rotate, but... I need to wait. This little circle is when you can fear him again, by the way. There is a 1 HP dog in the uh, bot lane. If anybody wants to kill this 1 HP uh, Nasus, the 1 HP Nasus is indeed bot lane. The 1 HP Nasus is literally running into my team. Uh, wow, that guy went forward like that. I was going to kill the Lucian. <laughs> 
he just committed to kill my Seraphine, so... I almost have my Landry's. Still such a gigantic buy for us. Damn. No cannon for me. I guess. I really want to take this... Getting these are pretty nice for the uh, dragon. So we have a little bit of bonus movement speed for the entire team. I'm just going to start it in hopes that my team uh, helps out. You're both dead. Right? No way he's gonna live! This is this is BS. Really? And I still die? That's crazy that I mean if I had Landry's he would have burned to death. This doesn't deal that much oh well, I already bought the item. The component that builds into that item doesn't deal that much, so. <clears throat> well, respect enemy team. You guys honestly kind of smurfed it. Like that's that's insane. <coughs> In what world did we think that we would ever lose a fight where we uh ulti onto their Lucianami and we we just lose? Why does Jax have tier? Oh, a Thimble Winter? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have bought beforehand. I mean it is a pretty gigantic spike. The only reason why I died is because I didn't have it. Oh well. Would have been good to get that dragon. At least the Nasus still seems really useless compared to me. <clears throat> Okay. I'm not gonna ult you, I think. Is Nami gonna come? No. They must be going topside then. Hmm. I was going to look for a flank when they went for mid turret, but they didn't. Seraphim might be dead. I saw Lucian jump in on the minimap. Didn't die. Nice. Time to put down vision right here. And there's a ward. I thought there would be. This is a pretty common spot for this ward. I would really love to uh, still find an angle though onto that Lucianami still. They are still the biggest biggest threat. I'm just trying to help out with this blue buff. It will help out everybody. Oh, I got it. That was an accident though. That was not on purpose. That was my uh Landry's that got it. <clears throat> no, you cleared that so slowly. I thought the it was gonna die. Another popular spot for a ward here. I don't know. Do I try to kill the Garen? I don't think I could do it on my own. Hello. I'm alive! Uh, I feared him! Oh my god, my fear! My fear was crazy! I can't believe my fear, uh, <laughs> like, interrupted his thing so I didn't die. Oh my god. I thought I was dead for sure. Guys, just do the Baron. <laughs> Where's everybody going? It's free! They have no jungler. 
You'd be surprised how many people fail this, by the way. If you're a jungler watching this, all right, there's no smite, right? So he can smite at 1,000 rather than 1.2k to guarantee it because some people, for some reason, smite really late. I mean, early, sorry. And there's no reason to, so just a thought. It's a, something that, for some reason, a ton of people forget. I don't think we should do this. <clears throat> they are playing way too respectful. I don't think it's ever going to hit. This is fine. We got Nami. We got our Flash. This guy overextended. I don't know why they committed so hard for Thresh right in front of my face when I'm uh, kind of able to just press R right in front of you. Oh, nice. Lucian stopped his baits. Yo, even if this guy goes behind us, I think we're okay. Because uh, it's only that guy. <coughs> This turret is so frustrating. Please stop hitting me. I'm just gonna flash. I have to, otherwise I die. Silence him. Nice, got the kill. I have my ult ready. Slowing? Fearing? I can't, I can't get in range, man. Okay, cool. Got the inhib. Why, wow, you guys are trying to do more? I'm gonna base. Let's buy this. Shadow Flame again. Let's make it so our burn and our damage over time effects just finish people off when they get really, really low. Why not? Going good. I'm almost level 16. Ooh. Level 16 damage is going to be like 2.6k. It's going to be something ridiculous. <clears throat> There's nobody down here. Let's take the turret. Wait. Thrash, no! Oh, that was such a good Seraphine ult. I wish I could follow up your thing. I don't even want to help you with this guy either. I'm just going to go for the Lucian. He's way more important than the Garen, so. Target selection. I'm going to walk behind you so you have no escape. And I'll stand here and I'll put an effigy so they don't know who is who. Boom. How will they ever know? On their screen, this effigy looks like me, by the way, so... I know on our screen it's pretty obvious, but not on theirs. Until I move. AP Nassers. Draining. Oh. I'll just press my fear button? Whoa, that was crazy. My fear button worked. How much damage does the deal? Yep, 2.7k. Four seconds. Get ready. Wait, come back. You're cheating. You're not allowed to go in there. Oh, my heal was insane. It actually saved my life. That last part of the drain got me. All right, so yeah, thanks for watching the second game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary, although, I mean, this <coughs> AP Nasus is... I I'm going to look at this guy's match history. Let's see if he plays it. It's not bad, but it was quite unfortunate that I picked something that's so damn good against him. And really uh, just countered him. Uh, I don't know. I'll give it a Thresh. He made a lot of plays, I guess. Two games of Fiddlesticks mid, two wins. Didn't do the most damage, Graves did, but I did second most. 
So thanks for watching, guys. Let's look at that guy's uh, history. Imagine if Garen didn't lose the matchup. Okay, so this guy is complaining about his top lane. The, the Nasus is complaining about the Garen. Oh, yeah, look, he actually kind of is doing pretty well-ish. Kind of. <laughs> All right, well, some of these games are pretty bad. But some of them he's winning. He does play it, clearly. So, yeah, thanks for watching again. Hope you have a great day. If you enjoyed it, drop a like on the video or subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Farewell. Bye.